Government officials say a new report contradicts statements made by the Trump administration that illegal immigrants were willing to part with their kids at the border once they were deported. Marianne Rafferty has the latest findings and more on one mother's journey to be reunited with her children after four years apart. Hundreds of illegal immigrants deported out of the U.S. were forced to leave their own children behind against their will. That's according to a report from the Department of Homeland Security Inspector General, who cited almost 400 instances during the Trump administration where migrants did not agree to be separated from their kids. Those children were either sent to relatives already in the states or taken into federal custody while their parents were sent back over the border. For migrants like Keldy Mabel Gonzalez Breve, this pain is all too familiar. She fled Honduras with her two children back in 2017, but they were apprehended by border agents in New Mexico. Under President Trump's zero tolerance policy, Keldy was arrested, prosecuted and forced to leave the U.S. She was separated from her kids who were sent to live with family in Pennsylvania. It's been roughly four years, but under President Biden, she has temporary permission to re-enter the country and be reunited with her kids. I cry tears of joy. I cry from so much emotion, so much happiness. Although many of Trump's immigration policies have been reversed under President Biden, border officials are continuing to issue warnings to anyone thinking of coming into the country illegally. The message is simple, don't do it. Meanwhile, the Biden administration continues to allow unaccompanied minors to remain in the U.S. Critics say this creates opportunities for migrant parents to send their kids alone across the border. Marianne Rafferty, Fox News.